ladies and gentlemen, it all comes down to this. The road has been long. The road has been difficult. It's also been glorious, not without drama, not without speed bumps, but all roads lead us to this moment here today. It is time to crown a champion. As we say, hi everyone and welcome to NFL Red Zone Championship Edition. Whoa, whoa, Scott whoa. Hansen here with you, ready to bring whoa. you every touchdown. Oh, Scott, Scott, Aaron, Scott, Scott. What's up? It's the wrong Aaron. show. This is NFL Tuesday Rich. Gaming. Hey. Oh my gosh, I was having Red Zone flashbacks here today. <gasps> We're not doing the touchdowns today? No, no, it's the wrong studio. Wait, I told so you, that's not, that's not Mondays, this is Tuesday. Oh my goodness. Wait, it's Tuesday? Yeah, it's Tuesday. Oh, that means it's time for Tuesday Night Gaming, which Let's is go! Let's go! Let's go, let's go, fellas. What's going on, Mike? It's not that. Come on over here. Fellas, good to see you. What's going on? Welcome, guys. Welcome. What's going on? All right. First question for the NFL guys, if I can, because, you know, NFL is my wheelhouse. If you don't mind, Sierra, I'll come over here. Please don't and, let and him talk. We, we, have to, we have to share the microphone here. So you just came out of the tunnel for Tuesday night gaming. How does that compare, Asante, to coming out of the tunnel at, at SoFi Stadium? Sam, you see I came out there with my little swag, with my little dance, you know. It kind of felt the same, but I'm just glad to be here. Mike? Uh, it was good. I mean... Watching him talk, you know, he kind of gave me a little swagger, a little confidence in this making the walk out. So I feel like we're pretty confident about this thing. Who is the best video gamer on the entire Los Angeles Chargers roster? Any game? What do you say, DJ? I don't know. It, it all depends on what game you're talking about. If you're talking about Madden, probably Derwin James. You're talking about Fortnite, it's probably Keenan, uh, Call of Duty. We got. A lot of good players who uh, play that, so it all depends on the game. Now, me and you ain't the same now. Lions coming out to play now. Opposition yeah. out the way now. Let's go, Keenan. Let's go, Austin. Let's go. What's up, guys? Good to see you, Keenan. How are you? Awesome. Austin. Scott, good to see you. I love the varsity jacket right there. Respect. You didn't bring your varsity jacket, Keenan. No, you didn't get it? All that matters is that you coordinate when you get the sticks in your hand here. Keenan, how are you feeling about the competition tonight? I'm feeling really good about it. I'm a gamer, so this is what I do. What's your game? Everything. Oh! You know, I'm feeling good. I got Keenan on my team. Uh, with a player with this much skill, I think, you know, I think we're going to be fine. We were talking before you guys got out here. Fall Guys is a game where it's all about getting your feet down in the right spot and knowing how to hop and have that coordination. You do that for a living and have been doing it at an all-pro level for years and years. Do you yeah. feel like Fall Guys will be your sport? Be it your could, yeah, it could be. Um, that's probably the least game that I that play because I don't feel like I have to craft it that much. It's like a little kid's game. But we, we, it Let's shouldn't, put it be, this it shouldn't way. be a problem. If you haven't seen it, toe drag swag yeah. in the NFL, that's Fall Guys, exactly. basically. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. basically it. Now, uh, you know, Fall Guys, maybe a little bit of a little kid game. Yeah. Uh, I, I would say that your skill level in video games is probably that of a five-year-old, unless you're playing Flight Simulator. Do you have any tricks up your sleeve, Austin, to host your way out You know, of this? I've been hearing a lot of talk mm. from the other team and the hosts of the show. Uh, and, I, I, you know, I'm coming into this game with a little bit of a chip on my shoulder, and I think I'm, I'm going to surprise a lot of people today. I can. Which game is your strong suit? Uh, we, we haven't really had an opportunity to, to hear what you're excited to play. Look, we're going to have to say I'm excited to play Rocket League if we're going to talk about either Rocket League or Fall Guys. Fall Guys, ha! Ah. But at least Rocket League, you know, me and my son, you know, my oldest son, Tang Jordan, we'd we be out here scraping. And then we get online and get scraped. So, you know, it's one of those it's one of those <laughs> things where I got high confidence that at least I play, you know, Rocket League at a, at a high clip with the kid. Um, it's just different once you get a seven-year-old off the sticks and then you play, like, real adults that do this. There's a, there's levels to everything. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's always another level. On board here. And uh, that's going to be Keenan Allen as he's trying to rush down oh! and get that score. But off the rip. Chad Billington, Cam Jordan, put it in for the rain. All that practice with him in the sun is paying off. Absolutely. You saw just the lump of all three OTK players not guarding that goal. Let's go ahead and listen in and see if they're changing their strategy. Oh, I missed the whole you ball. You have to be kidding me. Come on, Zion. Come on. <laughs> 
Yeah, Joy, he got a little cheek like going him. to some, bro. That's him? Yeah, that's him. He How can, you know? He can see it on his name. Well, I don't know. 94. I hope that's him. <laughs> I hope that's him. <laughs> I'm attacking, bro. Oh, let's go. Oh, man. Damn! I'm gonna throw up. No! Y'all kidding! Up, hey, what's up? Not good. We gotta get something now. We can't go out like that. In the first game of our Rocket League set, in an astonishing 31 seconds, Cam Jordan scoring three goals with the hat trick to kick it off. Back to back to back for Cam Jordan. What? Oh my is it goodness. Mike, is it Mike Jordan or Cam Jordan with the three-peat out there? What a finger action from catching the balls, from being a slayer in video games. Of course, he's oh. on the keys. But I tell you who, who is good, his teammate right there. But a fourth straight goal is Cam Jordan. This is just too easy. And you know what? I do want to give some credit. Austin Show is the one who set up that ball for Cam Jordan to hit it in. But that's enough from us. Let's go ahead and listen in on the Verizon team oh, speed. Oh, oh, no, that came yeah. go. Oh, ah. man. Again. Okay, so I got I got to jump on that. I got to jump. See, if I would have jumped, it would have been different. We a little late on the start. We a little late on the start. No. Got to start off early. Turbo. In there, in there. there oh, we go. there we go. That's key. Oh, yes. Oh. Get in there. Yeah, baby. Holy. <laughs> have you played? Of course I have. I told you. You're unbelievable. Go get that in. Go get that in. Good egg. It's all about the angle. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to say so, but it's about, it's about the angle. <laughs> this is bad, <laughs> There we go, there we go, there we go. There you go, get it! Yeah! Let me join the car! Let me get in the party! Let's go. Jump into our third and potentially final game of Rocket League with how Cam Jordan has been playing on the side of the rain, and there is a shot on goal. Just goes a little bit wide, but Cam Jordan just missing that ever so slightly. But with that, Keenan Allen finding that back up hit and scoring the first goal of the game. Getting his second goal in total on the board here. <laughs> oh, there, we go. there we go, that was good control. Oh, man. There we are. We need another one, man. Oh, let's go. Oh, don't let Cam get the <laughs> That was terrible. That was crazy right there, man. Dang, we had him like this. We had him right there. And so basically, I want to give a huge congratulations to you, here For the first time ever here, we went to Mercy in all three games of Rocket League. What does it feel like to have that huge achievement under your belt? Well, you know what? I have a lot of sympathy um, and pity for Austin and his team. And I think it's important every now and then to allow uh, the opposing team to actually have a victory. Okay, wow, that was nice. Ah, uh, okay, they're both winning, they're both playing right now. But... Oh, it's, it's them versus them. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, did, did you get, did you die too, Cam? Uh, I dropped uh, yeah. three levels at a time, fam. I had to uh, you see how level. slow they're going on the, on the, like they're just going through one? I see, I see, okay. That's the move. Good luck. Oh, that's the <laughs> move. <laughs> Why <Mike>, stay up, right? <laughs> hey, we got him. I think somebody just grab him and take him down. How you grab him? Oh, yeah, yeah, he's gonna go. Oh shit, it's 1v1. Oh, 
Off a few times, but they managed to hop their way back up there towards oh, the top. Up. Nonetheless, it, it, it was Keenan who, who got it done once again, a clutch factor to Slayer himself. So, what we see right now is Will trying to dust away, uh, you know, just some of the bad, bad mojo, yeah. bad vibes, maybe just like, you know, poor gameplay. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, that, that turtleneck is just beaming with darkness right there. Look at it. It's just straight black on black. You can't even see it's like he's blending into the background. Both of them, they're kind of matching right now. I wonder if Will can kind of like rub on some good vibes or some good Fall Guys skill. I don't know if maybe Will has that to apply. He clean his look, there he's got it. Somebody do. Okay. Let's close in on the blue then. Oh, we got him, we got him, we got him. Oh. They coming back too fast. Oh, he coming, he coming around the corner. I'm gonna make the sacrifice. I'm making the sacrifice. I got it. Oh, oh yeah, stay alive. We good, we good, we good. Shut up. Yeah, we got him. I thought he was dead. Now he's still alive. Oh, God. Alive? Yeah, he's still alive. Just play cool. Got it. We're right like, oh, yeah. down. Oh, yeah. of Tuesday Night Gaming. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> the Slayer himself, dressed up in red, drenched in the sorrows of his opponent. Oh. GG's across the board right there. Talk about a way to close it out. Oh. Talk about a way to be a champion. And me and Avali, 
We speechless, Rich. Talk to the winners. Talk to the champions. We have the privilege right now of doing just that and talking to the champions. Took 14 weeks to get here, and they do it in a very impressive style, folks. The rain. You look so good in that first series as well. Getting all the way to, to mercy rules and just blowing them out of the water, tearing apart like soft bread. But the second game, a little bit more difficult. Talk, talk about what was happening in the team. Well, you know, uh, it, it's a team game, right? And I've been saying that from the beginning of the season. It's a team game. And I just want to say, that's why you get Keenan Allen on your Tuesday night gaming team right there. That's why. You... Now, uh, did you kind of have to put him in the backpack and carry him a little bit in any of the games? Only Fall Guys. Fall Guys was a little tough. But it was shaky for all of us. We all went down. We all held the rope sometimes. You know, say we just had to make plays. You guys were really good at Rocket League, though. So yeah. talk to me about how much everybody actually has been playing Rocket League before we even got here. Yeah, I've been playing for a little minute. I played when it first came out, which was probably like four years ago. So I got some little driving experience. But I think we, we're older than those guys. So the driving experience just kick in. Natural. You able to swerve. Yeah, you know, you, you've gotten the opportunity to play with a lot of different people in the gaming space. Yeah. What would you say about the NFL legends? Are they better than uh, all the people who stream? Honestly, yes. Cam and Keenan were incredible. And, you know, we studied, we, we watched a lot of film, too. So you didn't yeah. see yeah, yeah. everything that, you know, there's a lot of preparation that went into this game. And, you know, all glory goes to God. You know, that's yeah. all I'm saying. The, the show, the coach, the legend, yeah. Mr. Show. That's right. Now, what's next for you guys? Well, I think, you know, we're going we're gonna to take a much-deserved break. We're going to go to Disney World, actually. Is that, yeah, that's yeah, what we're going to yeah, do. Yeah, yeah. Uh, to celebrate, yep. Um, and uh, then we're going to prepare for next season. You definitely need a vacation after playing two video games. Yeah, absolutely. We're going to enjoy this one, though. That's what we're going to do. We're going to enjoy this one, and uh, we'll, we'll go get it next year. Yeah. Any words for OTK after being able to take them down? Hey, man, you got to get better. Get back in the lab, get to the tutorials, lab it up, get your lab work in, and uh, it'll be aight. That kind of hurt me, you know. We we tried really hard this season, but you, you have to actually think about what it took for, for these gentlemen to even be on the stage right now because when you did look at the rain, it was looking a little bit rocky at times. You got to give credit to Ninja as well. He clutched up last week, made it so they could even get on the stage. Did it feel good to get to beat Seer, though, for the grand final? I mean, it, it felt good, but I, I feel like we believed it was going to happen the entire time. We knew that. Yeah, everybody in our locker room, we just knew. But that's what's going to happen. Well, every single champion deserves a trophy. So I believe we can get Scott out on the stage right now to give you the pure titanium trophy. This is excellent rehearsal for Keenan Allen, who someday will hoist the Vince Lombardi trophy. Until then, this can have a fine place on your mantle. Keenan Allen and OTK, the champions today now you have two of your los angeles chargers teammates with you uh -huh. they, there is a consolation trophy as well it is a foam mini football inside of wow. your trophy that yeah so you give that to them in the locker room reminding them how they were vanquished here on worldwide streaming Let's go again when you're ready. Yep. Shots, good shot. Mr. Allen. <laughs> how many, how many were you doing? This isn't Sunday Night Football. <laughs> <laughs> We 
called those boxes. That man trapped me in though. Look at a shot like Reggie Miller! <laughs> Reggie! Can you get one kill at least? Yeah. Oh man, see, I. T t okay, now you believe me? There, did anybody make you even break a sweat? You know what, man? I'm not even sweating, man. Like, I had to go out, like, I had to go get literally a bottle of water and pour on me, you know, just to, you know, feel a bit moist in here. You oh, know, no. so the competition was real good, though. I, I had a lot of fun, you know, playing with the guys. So that's what it's all about, having fun, right? Yeah, it definitely is. Yeah, man, the, the hardest work that you had to do was walk to the refrigerator to get a bottle of water. That's a pretty good sign. Exactly. Exactly. Who was the best smack talk, though, when you were actually playing? You know what? Uh, the last guy I played against, you know, he had the best smack talk. And Austin, you know, I, I played against Austin, but I thought Austin was, I thought Austin was going to be real good. You know, I thought he was trolling me the whole entire time. But turned out he was actually a bot. So <laughs> shout out to Austin, shout out to Keenan, and just shout out to all the guys I played against tonight. What what level do you think you are? Like, cause uh, the casters actually brought it up. They were like, I wonder if Tyreek could take down like Ninja and Booga and players like that. Do you think you have what it takes to to take down some of the people who play Fortnite professionally? Cause it looked like it. You you know what guys like Booga, uh, Mongrel, those guys who actually compete at a, at a high level. I don't think so. But guys like Ninja and Tifu, guys who actually create content for Fortnite, I think I got a good shot at those guys. So Ninja Tifu, I'm calling you out. The Cheetah is calling you out. I feel like I'm one of the best in the NFL for a reason, man, at this game, because I put in at least 20 hours a week and grinding this, man, for a reason. Oh, man, I want to see it now. Those are big words, but with what we saw, I definitely think that you can back him up. Maybe sometime soon we'll be able to actually get you out here against Tifu, against Ninja, and I just want to say thank you very much for your time, man. Thank you guys so much for having me, man. God bless. 
and everybody enjoyed the night. I pledge allegiance for lifetime. My squad connected like Wi-Fi. We grind and you see the highlights. This my life. It ain't a game now. Me and you, we ain't the same now. Lions coming out to play now. Hello, hello. How's now. it going? One here, one over there. All right, gentlemen, I have to ask you. You guys are obviously NFL legends in your own rights, but... Are you possibly gaming legends as well in this Madden 1v1 showdown? Do you play Madden? I do. You do? Oh, okay, you do? If All right. I was in the game, I was in the game, so. Ah, okay, okay, okay. So how long have you been playing Madden for? Since I was probably 10, 11. So for like quite a long time, you've been 30, playing 30, just 30 all years. kinds, all, 30, all football 30, games, 30 all football years. games. I've been playing Madden for th over 30 years. Ooh, what about you? Same thing. We grew up playing Madden. That's part of being a sports guy. Just understanding the game. Madden now gives you that same insight as like actually being in the game. So I love Madden. It's my favorite game. Chills. Big boy. Antonio Gates, looking like a run. The handoff is there, and that's an easy move for the big man, Kareem Hunt, to get in the end zone. Antonio puts six more on the board, and he's going for two. Ooh. Not even looking close right now. It's not. Antonio taking this one with ease. Putting that Cleveland Browns defense and, and power run offense to good use. Dropping back with Deshaun Johnson. Deshaun Watson oh. going for two, and he'll get this. I mean, I gotta ask them because they were very quiet during the entire competition, but Antonio was talking a little bit towards the end. You have won our last Madden 1v1 showdown. How do you feel? I feel good. I, you know, I try. I figured it coming into the game, well, he, at least he stayed loyal. He did pick Miami, so <laughs> I wanted to make sure I uh, stopped the deep ball. I know that team is very high power offensively, and that's that's how like the real game would be. You know, yeah. you just try to come up with a game plan. I stuck to the game plan, and I was able to execute. Well, speaking of game plan, Ricky, your game plan didn't go as you might have wanted it to go. But what happened? What went wrong? Well, I mean, he did a good job on defense coming out. Uh, we wanted to win the toss so we could defer, but we got the kickoff. He did a good job stopping us three and out. And then the second drive. We were going down, and Raheem, you know, he was trying to celebrate too early, got hit and fumbled, and I think that just morale and the team went downhill. Nick Chubb got the ball, and that was a wrap. 